I've been trying to think of something that is awesome and spectacular, yet also poignant and pays homage to the totality of our history. That's deep. Well, I think I've come up with something. Do you remember Truck Wedge? Yeah, it was great. So what I'm thinking of is we build a new improved truck wedge, attach it to a more powerful and bigger truck, and then on a runway we line up all 14 years of Mythbusters history, all the props, the wooden cutouts, the busters, the cars, the planes, the boats, and we drive right through the center of all of it. So it's a symbolic kind of a thing. Indeed it is. For 14 years, Adams picked the most iconic props from the most famous episodes. The wedge is made of eight pieces of half-inch thick steel aligned into a cone. Behind it, tubular steel connects the wedge directly to the truck. Over the cab, two layers of bulletproof glass should ensure there'll be no driver decapitation. Adam puts the pedal to the metal. Coming up to 30. After an epic 14 years, eighth year, it's time for the runway's last runout. This is a destructive wedge through memory lane. In three, two, one. Yeah! Right through. Yeah! than a mile of runway, there's a level of destruction that is absolutely astonishing. And it's all thanks to momentum. Because the wedge pushed the props up and out, the truck never got slowed down, meaning that it could continue its demolition derby all the way to the end. I hit about 45 miles an hour at the very moment I got to the first row of 20 cars. Yeah! Right through! And I started plowing through things. I went through the cement wall, I went through fish tanks, I went through bathtubs, I went through popcorn house. Oh, yeah! That, ladies and gentlemen, is catharsis. Catharsis and catastrophe. A double dose of epic destruction that's the perfect final physics farewell for this remarkable runway. Let's get out of here. Thanks for your hard work, Carr.